Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Black Stars players, and some other news we need to know in this one today. The team they had their third training session at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium, Legon, and we have Alexander Kwabinajiku. Yes, the centre back is back, and the best defender is back to the Black Stars team, and that is a good one. Even though he was having some arm injury and a whole lot of stuff, but the player he has trained with the team today, and we will talk about him and check out some pictures that I will get. If by the time I upload the video, um, you know, the video from the Ghana Football Association is also out, I will include some for you in this particular video for you to also enjoy. Hot Paint at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium today. So just stick and stay with me for that. Then we also talk about the best starting 11 that Coach Otto Addo, I think, looking at how he likes approaching games 4 2 3 1. If he's going with 4 2 3 1, Hot is the best starting 11 in the team at the moment. Well, I'll talk about it as well in this one. Before then, if you have joined me, take your time and like the video for me after liking don't forget to subscribe if you are new put us on post notification and let us also know your thoughts and comments in the comment box after watching the video share the link for others to also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel so no time to waste i also try and give shout out to most of you who commented under the last video so stick and stay for your shout outs let me begin from the training session yes today it happened at the uh, university of ghana sports stadium and it was also behind closed doors so we were unable to go in there and bring you some few shots yes it is understandable the first day they opened to the public second day third day they have kept it behind closed doors and i don't know maybe tomorrow or one of the days before fourth of um, june they will also open to the public to come and enjoy the team before they say goodbye to the team the team is going to depart ghana on the fourth of june to mali that is where they are going to play against mali on the seat of june seat of june it is 7 p.m local time and i'll bring you all the details how to watch it where to watch it and all the details i'll bring it to you so just stick and stay with me let us not rush into that after that then ghana we will um fly to ghana here um you know to kumase that is where we are going to host central african republic on the 10th of june after four days playing against mali and that is it so today at the university of ghana sports stadium they hosted their um you know third training session and we have 25 players Players who trained yes Jiku is back but um i've told you that one player has left camp that is frederick asari goalkeeper for black stars and also kodoko kodoko wrote to um you know black stars that they need a player to return to the club side to keep for them today against olympics they played it in kumase at the nation's fc stadium but um still they lost the game by a goal to know to olympics yes um, i understand that one of the protocols goalkeeper it is rumored that Dana ibrahim told the coach that he's pulling out of the team today and a whole lot of staff so the coach um the coaches had no option than to recall frederick asari that is the reason why they recalled him from the black stars team that is what i'm hearing and that is that so yes um he didn't train but aside him all the 25 players in camp, they all trained at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium today and everything is intact. Jiku, even though he has bandage on his left hand, um, it looks like he still fits as he trained today. It is a good news for Ghanaians because he was being assessed whether he can play the game for Ghana or otherwise. That was why he was not um, you know, reporting to camp. But I brought you an update this morning that he has reported and today he has trained with the team together with all the other players. Just mentioned them, Mohamed Kudus, Kamal Din Suleimana. They are all fit and that is also a piece of good news for all Ghanaians and that is that we hope that they will stay fit and play well do their tactics right you know behind closed doors make, they should make sure they do things right so that when we go to Mali we will go and play as the black stars that we call ourselves and shine in Mali and that is it also in there now let's to um or let me take you through my 4231 kind of formation here what is your best starting 11 if coach Otto Adam is going to go with his usual 4231 of which I'm sticking with in this update later on I'll come and talk about my best possible starting 11 against Mali this one I'm sticking with how the coach has been approaching games 4231 with the goalkeeper i'm not going to hesitate at all i'm still going to select lauren Satisgi as i've been selecting him in recent months to be the head uh well, you know the lead goalkeeper for black stars at the moment i think he's the consistent goalkeeper that we have at the moment and i'll go with Satisgi to be imposed for black stars against mali if i'm going with the 4231 now with the four back right back i'm going to go in for Tarek nilamte 
Tarek Lamte, um, he likes attacking more than defending. So usually when you are going with a threat back, then it will really suit him. I think Ali Du could also do well. But um, Tarek did so well against Nigeria when he came on. And I think I'm going to stick with Tarek Lamte as a right back in this, um, you know, four back system. Then the left back, I'm going to give it to Gideon Mensah. It looks like he is the favorite ahead of Ebenezer Anan, who is basically um, his competitor in that position. So I'm going for Gideon Mensah to be the left back in this game. Now, um, with the centre-back pair, that is where it's going to be a little bit challenging. As Jiku is back, I'm going to start Jiku as one of the centre-backs. If he is fit, if Jiku is fit, because he's the best centre-back we have at the moment. We saw him at the AFCON. Solid. I'm going to go in for um, Alexander Jiku as a centre-back in this team. Then I'm going to partner him with um, Jerome Opoku, Istanbul Baksha defender. Jerome has been improving. His first game for Black Stars against USA was bad. Nothing to write home about. But later on, we saw him against Nigeria. We saw him against Uganda. He was solid, organising the back wall. His ball progression is also good. He's not one of the centre-backs who get who get the ball and just play it anyhow. No. He tries to progress very well and it is also good of him so i'm going to play him ahead of basically that is going to be one my salisu who is also a left center back so that is a salisu then jiku didn't really pair for me around the afcon that is why i want to twist things here because jerome Jer jerome has been solid if you have jiku who has also been solid for black stars it's going to be amazing even though we also have abdul Mumin who can play in the absence of jiku as a right center back and that is that so gideon mensa tarik lamte jerome opoku and jiku then goalkeeper is lawrence artistically now in the midfield thomas te Partey is going to start for me yes party no doubt about that if he is fit he is now the captain of the black stars team then i'll partner him with elisha Ousu. yes i've been saying it we have a lot of defensive midfield for this. Elisha also is a DM. Um, Edmond Ado is a DM. Ibrahim Suleimana is a DM. Sally Sabdo Samed is a DM. Who again? I think we have five. You know. So aside Thomas Pate, who can progress the ball well, we don't have any of those qualities in the team. And I'm going to go in for Pate and partner him with Elisha Ousu. Elisha has been consistent for AJ Oxel for them to qualify to the French League one. He was solid and I'll partner him with him. Salis has not really impressed me in recent months. Um, I've also not seen enough from Edmond Ado, always Edmond Ado, but Ibrahim Suleiman, I will not just throw him into this game as his first Blasters game and, you know, that's why I settled on, on them. Then Francis Abu can also come in. Yes, he's also a DM. So, yes, that is going to be the two players I'll play them in front of the four back. Then Kudus Mohamed is going to play my AM role or the number 10 role as we call it. Yes, Kudus, um, we know him already. I don't want to talk much about him. He's going to create, going to score, shoot, do everything for us. And I'll play Kudus as the AM in this particular game. Now, Fatawi Sahaku Abdo with his form from Leicester City. I will not like him to sit on the bench for any other player to play the right wing. I'm going to start Fatai Saku Abdo as a right winger in this particular game against, um, you know, Mali. And that is that. He did so well with Leicester City, contributing in 20 goals, scoring 13 and providing, um, sc scoring 7, yes, and providing 13 assists. Was solid one for Fatai Sahaku, and I'm going to play him as a right winger. Now, the left winger, I'm going in with Enes Nana Nuama. Yes, Enes Nuama is also a very good left winger who can also help the team going forward. I know we have a lot of good wingers. Osma Bukari can play on the left as well. Kamal Din Zulemana can also play on the left. On the right, we also have Jordan Pierre Ayu on the bench. So we have options, but I'll go in for Enes Nuama because he has been working so well up front with, with the team. And I think for what he has done in the Black Stars team, I would like to entrust him another start in this particular 4 2 3 1 kind of formation. Then the player to lead attack. It's not one that will give you a lot of goals, but his work rate is also amazing. And to sell on Semenyon, because Blasters right now in a, in a team, we don't have any out and out striker in the team. Let me put it that way, except, um, you know, Brandon Thomas Asante, who is a striker. But you don't expect Thomas Asante to also start, start this particular game as his first game for Blasters. Then you just start him against Mali. When it doesn't go well, it is going to demoralize him. It's going to like bring his, um, you know, morale, everything down. So I will start with. Antoine Semenyon to lead the lines, even though for him usually he strikes from the left or the right wing position. So this is how my 4 2 3 1 is going to be. At his game post, Tarek Lamte right, uh, right back, left back, Gideon Mensah, Jerome Opoku, and Jiku Patnari as center backs. Pate, Elisha Usu, and Kudus in midfield. Fatai Saaku, right winger, left winger is Enes Nuama, and Antoine Salam Semenyon leading the lines. What are your thoughts? Let me know it 
in the comments box um and i'm um, even then my Nairo, we can play brian mossman as also a first nine because that's where he has been playing in recent um you know weeks or months for fc nordland in denmark so that's it let me know your thoughts let me give shout outs to you guys before i take leave of you shout out shout out okay let me begin from here shout outs going out to linda white thank you for being here i've seen you steven Kenyon is also on this channel. Hussein um, Tamir, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Michael Champion is also on this channel. Courage Kubi is here. Prince Ahiale, thank you. Enoch Mensa, you are also on this channel. Bama Solomon Intrasib is here. Prince Newton is here. Okay, Ima 8485 is on this channel. Abdul Rasak, thank you for being here. Original um, at GH, you are also on this channel. Michael Champion is also here. Um, let me move on. Samuel Kwa, you are also on this channel. Thank you, Mr. Vordy is here. Real Lassie TV, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Michael Champion, okay. Haruna Mohammed is also here. Stanley GH, I appreciate you so much. Fiaco Courage is here. Nketia Philip, I have seen you. Teofloss Nanado is also on this channel. King Grace, you are also here. King Grace. Sam, then I have Cedric Huncho, thank you for being here. And go go delivery, you are also on this channel. Um, Amoli Fori Richard, yes, thank you. Amoli Fori Richard. Um, then I have Keto U Bright Keto U, okay, thank you. Gideon Akagbo is also on this channel. Boatin Kevin is here. Sylvester and Magai Bo, thank you. Ousu Gideon Swanzi Kuje, Jason Grant, Ofei and Sam Swanzi, and some other you know amazing guys also bringing their comments. I'll bring you more shout outs in my subsequent updates. Don't forget to always like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV and of course we shall meet later.